Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play of Resident Evil 7. When we left off, I was told how dumb I was because apparently I'm just supposed to match these paintings. That's what I was told to do, so that's what I'm going to do, I guess. Um, can I spin you? How do you match them? I really just walked into this room and like I started the episode, so I'm still pretty lost when it comes to stuff, but I realized that I have some supplements too, the psychostimulants actually. So I can take those and maybe I can find some stuff that I've been missing since I've killed most of the evil things that are in the, uh, on the boat at least from what I could tell. So pink splotchy splotch goes up in the corner. Is that, are we good? Okay, so what's in here? Ooh, corrosive. Oh, so much corrosive. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I need to go back up to the control room. Yeah. So we want to be on the third floor. Somebody going to be waiting for me? No? I figured you would, actually. All right. So, to the third floor we go. I can open this now, right? Yeah, we can go up here. Yeah. Easy peasy. Probably. I'm overestimating this. But at least I got some corrosive. And that's what's important. So... Wait, did I check that already? Yeah, I did. Okay. I thought so. Just double checking what I've been checking. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> God dang it. Such an idiot. Alright. Let's just go to the elevator and do it that way. I just figured that's what the game wanted me to do. And if I could help it, I was gonna avoid it. But it doesn't look like I can. So we'll crouch. And we'll go up a floor. <sighs> so how are you guys doing? Honestly, um, the last episode, the last video, maybe the um, last time I was able to accurately read your guys' comments and go from there. Because I was able to apply them to this video, but after that, I probably won't be able to. Because I gotta start prepping for this trip, so I'm sorry. If you guys say anything else and I, I ignore it, it's not that I don't care. It's just I didn't have the opportunity to, to do anything with it. So yeah, there you go. So we got the corrosive. But why do I have three bottles of it? I can't open that? Okay. I'll go ahead and close that, because I'm sure I don't want anybody following me. I have 64 bullets, which is pretty good. And also, there's a little girl that I still need to worry about. Is she gonna pop up? I'll pop her in the face. Probably not. She's so much stronger than I am. Emotionally, physically, mentally. Just way stronger. I know somebody's in here. What's this? Excuse me! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, you're a big boy! Okay! Yeah, you're, you're a big boy! I can't even see you 100%! But I know you're a big boy! So I'm just gonna freaking... Shoot you over and over again. And you exploded. Cool. Well, that was neat. Um. Hmm. Okay, then. I'm gonna go back to this little panel here and see what I can do. Oh, it's the plug I need. Got it. You are very uh, diligent with your time, aren't you? <laughs> Good God. Got that power cable. We probably screwed ourselves though. Should I take the supplement here? Because it looks like there's a lot of stuff I could be getting. I don't know. Okay, that's good. So where did you come from anyway? I'm not even sure. Well, I'm not one to, to guess too much. 
So, looks like I need to keep going that way. More corrosive. Okay, so lots of corrosive. It's almost like they want me to uncover more stuff. I just don't know what or where or why. Okay, more of the bombs. Which I have yet to use, actually. Oh, I can't go out this way. Of course I can't. Why would it make it that easy for me? So what other objective do I have here? Oh, wrong button. Um, repair the elevator. So that's it. That's all I have to do is repair it. Sounds a lot easier than I think it's going to be. Right? Bullets? No. That's just a freaking piece of metal. Right. Alrighty, walk back. Hope nobody comes to say hi. Oh, I hear someone or something. You okay? Everybody good? Probably not. <laughs> we do need to get to Ethan though. That's like my goal today is to make it to Ethan. I'm hoping I can at least do that. So we'll go in here. And down here. Yep. Okay, so how do we repair this? Oh. Power cable goes here. We're good. Oh. Oh. Well, that wasn't too bad. So he's on S2. And S2 is where we're headed. Alright, so what do I got? I got a handgun with only three bullets. I've got a knife. My little machine gun thing. And then seven of these freaking bombs that I haven't used yet. I've used Waiting. one. And it was to no avail, actually. I don't like how dramatic the music's being. Like, I really don't like how dramatic the music's being. Right? If anybody's gonna be dramatic, it's me. Not the music. Hello? See what I mean with the dramaticness? <laughs> Strong chem fluid, that's good. Oh, from behind! That was all of that, so... Oh, God. Um... Hang on, hang on, I, I need it. There. Is it working? I don't think it's working very well. Okay, ow! What? Dude! You gotta stop, okay? You gotta stop with that. I wasn't ready. I'm trying to figure stuff out, okay? I'm learning. I'm a student of survival. You can't just freaking jump at me because you want to. Handgun ammo, enhanced gun ha gun hand ammo. Yep, that's what I need. Enhanced gun hand ammo. Okay, so we'll go with this and switch it out. Got my machine gun. Oh, more more detonation thingies. Bombs of detonationness. Hello? I hear you! Oh, I see you! Oh, I see you! You are a quick one! Ow! You also hurt a lot. Okay, we're good though. He's dead. It's okay, guys. You can avert your, avert your eyes? You can revert your eyes. Is that a word? Revert? Probably. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. I panic, and I try to logic my way out of everything. I hear somebody? Okay, I got a lot of bombs. I need to start using these, because I don't know if there's a limit to how many I can carry. But I'm sure I'm going to hit that limit soon. Alright, so we'll reload this. Get our knife. Poke it. Got some more machine gun ammo. Um, I would love to move these around a little bit, I think. Put that there. Um, I think that's good. I can make... A strong first aidness. We still have the supplements, which I don't know if I should use now or not. 
Oh yeah, the bombs. I was gonna use the bombs. Hello? Any oh my god, look at all these bombs they give you! Seriously! Holy crap! As long as they don't hurt me that much, I'll be good. I hit the wrong button. Cool. It's okay. Probably needed it anyways. Use it! Use it! Oh god! Uh, we need we need to use this, please. Help! Why aren't I using it? I was using it just a second ago. There! Boom! Detonate! I need to learn how to do this a little bit better. There we go. Okay, I got it. So when the circles pop up... Ew! You! Stop it! Just stop it. Okay? You dead? Well, bye-bye. Are you dead or not? That's right, he explodes. <laughs> okay. Everybody good? Everybody annoyed? Because I suck? Probably. It happens. Oh, an herb. Yay! Gimme. So where are you, Ethan? You're over here? You hurt? You're probably hurt. Um, we can do that one if you want. Let me see let me let me see your your wrist. I can't I can't see how much health she has. I don't think she actually did that, did she? Because Ethan's the one who has that. Okay, corrosive! Corrosive it up! Another freaking coin. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful. <laughs> it may not sound it, but I'm stupid grateful. I'm gratefully stupid. Cargo bay, okay. Number two engine room. Eh. Well, not going in there. Cause, uh, creepy's in there. We'll go in here instead. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got a little bit of cargo that we can uh, use this wonderful corrosive on. Get another stupid coin. Remote bombs! Ooh. Okay. So, we're pretty good then. I've got bombs. I can blow up this child. I didn't say that. I didn't say that out loud. It's just what I'm thinking. Hi. What you doing? Which is? Usually when you ask something, you, Ethan. you know, say it. Okay. Well, I found him. That was my goal. That's what I wanted to do. Ethan. Hi. That's me. Hey, shh. Sh I know, I know, I know. I'm not going to hurt you. What? Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. What are you talking about? What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas. Zoe? Or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn. She did this. Uh-huh. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? So we learned some backstory, apparently. She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. Uh-huh. It's a gift, all right. I found her. Yeah, busted out tank in the bayou. Took her in. Everything changed <laughs> after that. I bet. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. Okay, Dad, tell me. Tell me how it is. She just... <sighs> she forces a way into your mind. Your Kids soul. can do that. I want this toy. You can't fight back. And then you start killing everyone. It happens. You are connected to her and you can't resist the urge to... Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that. Yeah, a little just bit. like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. 
just <laughs> come on now she's the key all right you find her and you stop her with love out of a gun free my family oh please don't be like that I've got lots of bombs I'll do what I can <laughs> Away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. What? Sally, what? I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't you dare. What's happening? So what? <laughs> You're not my mom. You are so grounded, missus. What do I do? How do I get out of here? Blah. Oh, hi. Reunited. That feels so good. I'm sure there's another boss fight coming. There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. Uh, she's right there. I found her. Take this. No, like, she's right there. Wait, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Saving your life. You need to um. go. I won't be able to resist for much longer. Um. No. Now go kill that little bitch. But I, I, no. no. Oh God. Oh, okay. Mia. No. Oh. All my bombs. I mean, Mia. <laughs> Great. So she gave me the tissue sample. That's what she did. Probably. I don't have anything. Little bitch. Where the fuck are It doesn't really matter, because we have nothing. I had all the things, and all she gave me was a freaking tissue sample. She should have given me, like, the bomb. <laughs> like, here, take these. And he's like, why do you have 900 bombs? Don't ask questions, just go. That would have been great. Um, crouchy time? It's all your fault. Oh, that's what that- I was like, what are you talking about? Nobody said anything. I mean, we could be a family if you want to be. Although, I don't think that's 100% what you want. Oh, I'm outside. Oh. Okay. Well, yay. I guess I'm done with the ship section. Cool. Cool. That's a lot of fish here. That would smell delicious. Is that a helicopter? Or a purring alligator? Because they're very different things and I don't know which one's what. Um, it's probably neither. Like some kind of like freaking generator or something. Alright. Hello? Oh, I don't want to go under. Can we go over? Can we go over, please? I don't want to go under. I mean, I'm sorry to all the Australian people out there, but I am not a fan of the land down under right now because it's going to freaking kill me. Ooh, me not likey. I am so glad I'm not playing this in VR. So, so, so very glad. It was, it was a fleeting thought in my feeble mind. But, uh, no. There's no way. <laughs> okay, handgun ammo. February 19th, 1892. Good God, that's an old log. Okay, uh, there was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Tuan and Beckford are dead, and Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground here is too unstable. The company's not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Okay, Abercrombie Salt Mine? Were you in a mine? I'm sorry, what was that? Are they watching us from that helicopter? Probably. Well, hey, what's what's the worst that could happen? We get killed. That's the worst. Alpha one, this is Bravo one. Do you read? A copy. Alpha one, report. Did you find anything? 
A thorough search of the Baker property revealed so it was a helicopter. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Okay. Roger that. You do that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. Can I can I say something? If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. Orders are pray and die. Because that's pretty much what's gonna happen. Oh yay! My stuff! You've taken me as things. Oh, I did take her stuff. Oh! Okay then. We have a lot of stuff. Like a lot of stuff. Uh, first aid med, machine gun. Do I want to keep the machine gun? It's pretty good. I will say. Psycho stimulants for item detection. The handgun. Remote bombs, we need those. Uh, we'll take the handgun. We'll take the shotgun. So I can either do the burner or the, uh, ooh, a balloon. Yay. <laughs> Um, we could do the burner or the machine gun. I'm gonna save the grenade launcher for way, way later. Enhanced ammo, survival knife. Probably want that actually, right? That's probably a good thing to have. But I have no shotgun shells, so having a shotgun's not gonna help me right now. Put that back. Let's go with the machine gun, because if anything, I can shoot short bursts and keep people away from me. So strong first aid, uh, corrosive yes, machine gun ammo, got some chem fluid, I got a lock pick which is good, separating agent, I guess I can take that, and then maybe like one thing of chem fluid. Good, cool, awesome, ship, swamp, lab, got it, oh, well hello. I didn't realize you were here. Uh, okay, how many coins do I need for this? I can't even see with my big shadow. Nine. How many antique coins do I have? Probably not nine. Three. That's not enough for anything. Well, I'm gonna save because things are about to go down. So cool, we actually, we're making progress. I know it feels like we're not, but we are. So that's good. Now, I think one of my friends told me that once you get past the ship area, you're pretty close to, like, the end of the game. So, I'm not sure how close I am, but I may be able to get it done before I uh, come back from my trip. Let me make sure everything's where I need it to be. Ooh, I don't like the order of that at all. So, we're gonna move you there. We'll move you there. That should be good. Hopefully, in a panic, I'll be able to get what I need to get. <laughs> Hopefully. So where where are we going now? Should I take a stimulant and see if there's anything around here? I think I'm okay. You think you got a flashlight, buddy? Hi. That was an awesome headshot, come on! How are you still alive? I can't see any of you. Okay, maybe now's a good time for the bombs, huh? We good? Everybody dead? I don't think everybody's dead, but... I did a pretty freaking good job. Hi, friend. How are you? Gonna go ahead and just push this real quick. Ow! Okay. That's what you get for that, okay? Not cool. Ooh! I heard somebody else. Well, he just fell to pieces, didn't he? Okay, I gotta be careful. I gotta, I gotta actually be smart with those. Is there anything else I need? Yeah, there's some stuff here I can get. Probably some more zombies, too. Burner fuel. Of course you give me the fuel for the one thing I left behind. It makes the most sense. 
Handgun ammo. That was actually really nice of you. Thank you. Uh, strong chem fluid. Oh, you closed. Let me on, please. Click. Going down, I guess, because it's the mines, huh? Yeah, of course it is. This is gonna be fun. Enclosed spaces for everybody! Yay! Oh. Well, this place looks neat. Oh, now you click on your flashlight. Of course you do. Because why wouldn't you? Alright, so we're we gonna run into some miners now? Not like... Underage people, but you know. Miners. <laughs> that was a good shot. Good shot, me. I did a thing. Tripwire? I don't want to have to worry about tripwires. Dang it. I thought I was over that already. I was going to say, does that mean we're going to have the boxes that freaking explode? I was like, I hear something. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Step back, please. Is that it? Was that both of them? Yeah, and they came from over- OH GOD! <laughs> I saw it the moment I walked into it. Sorry, Ethan. I'm sorry, buddy. There's another one. Good god. They're freaking everywhere. I'm really hoping there's no trap boxes. Cause those 100% suck. Right, but I don't see anything else over here, so... I think we're good. How did they not hit all this stuff, man? That doesn't look good. What's, is it gonna fall down on me? See what happens when you have an overactive imagination. You think everything is out there to kill you. And in horror games, it typically is. Okay. Oh, good. We get to wander some mines. That way looks interesting. I think that's the way I came from, actually. I guess I need to check all my options here. There's a light there. There isn't any light there. I heard the snip stop of footsteps, though. Aha! Okay. We're good. We're fine. Oh, we're not fine. We are not fine. I repeat, not fine. Woo. Don't dramatically slide over to me. Are you still alive? Oh my god, dude. Stop. Give up. Okay, you're not getting your paycheck. I'm sorry. It's been a hundred years. It's just, we can't. We, we can't look at the records and see when you clocked in and clocked out. You should have punched in if you were looking for something like that. That's all I'm saying, okay? Uh, okay, so that area where they came from was also just blocked off. So is there nothing in here? Ooh, bombs. Bombs that I can use, not the ones that are used against me. Because there's too many of those. Alright, so I may stick with the machine gun for now and then use bombs when needed. Who, what, where, how, why? Oh, right here! Okay, hello! You need to die, thank you. Oh, there's more. Did not realize there are more of you. So sorry. Y'all need to stop coming up behind me though, okay? Seriously. Can you not make me use all my ammo? <laughs> Whew. You're still getting up. No, you're just spazzing out. I'm spazzing out, but you're spazzing out, too. Am I crouched? I was crouched. I don't know why I was crouched. I must have hit some weird stuff. Um... Can I push this? Of course I can! Oh, are we gonna go on a minecart ride? I forgot which Resident Evil that was that they did that. Perfect! 
Okay. Uh, I don't know. Follow the light. That's what happens when you die, right? You follow the light. Yeah. Okay. This looks like a big area where you battle. And I don't want to do that yet. No big battle area for me. Nothing? No secret items? Shame. Shame. Lost opportunity. I see you, tripwire. But I'll take your gamble. Ugh, that's, that's kind of a really risky gamble. I, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna just shoot you. There's gotta be some stuff up here, right? Yes. God dang it! With the friggin' trap boxes. What's that say? Oh, that's nothing. I thought that said something. Well, this looks homely. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to be working on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of messed up. Uh, Mia is still somewhere between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia is her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia is her mommy. Like I said, your bio weapon is messed up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more a-holes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around, but it's a pain for me and I got to clean up the mess whenever somebody new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Is her skin getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs? Is that what's supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Old? Like... Like, are we talking like grandma old? Oh my god, what if it, what if we are? Okay, so there's a save room right after here. I think we're getting some answers now. Infection report. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read the document thoroughly before dealing with E-series weaponized assets, hereafter referred to as mold. Uh, the mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over the cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co-apt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject starts to become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations, and soon comes under complete control with the E-series asset. If the state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. After every cell in the body has been taken over by mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all resulting in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Huh. So we're getting some answers. Uh, neurotoxin, E-series, dosage test. Ten minutes after dose, death? Five minutes after dose vomiting, 12 minutes after dose cell calcification. Do I want to take this? What is this? The heck is this? What? Neurotoxin. Okay, destroy cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model, only used for disposal of E series assets. The toxin must be stimulated before use. Do this by picking, placing a sample of the e series cells into the neurotoxin container. Uh, the tissue sample. Okay. Did I do good or did I do bad? So now we have the neurotoxin. Okay, or necrotoxin. Is that what it said? Yeah, necrotoxin. Sorry. I'm thinking portal neurotoxin. Okay, this project was instigated in the 2000s as one of the several concepts for the company's Nexbus. 
Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative, or you want technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants in mass with minimal direct contact. Next Bass was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile en elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling but combat itself, it's no wonder we had the huh and even the huh organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would have never existed if it weren't for the discovery of <laughs> the remarkably progressive vicarant evolution fungus we commonly term the muted mycete. Cool. You guys following along? The fabrication method for each bioweapon is to introduce the muted mycete genome to pre-stage for a human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over the period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. Common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, though that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure the ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first E series specimen named Evelyn has proven to be capable of secreting the mucemite from her tissue at will. Okay, it is also of note. Shh, I'm reading! That Evelyn's uh, mutamycete imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced to the host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the anto auto inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in the Pseudomonas bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not, in fact, there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. That means that she's not there. Got it. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appeals to be a normal girl, sometimes desiring companionship or, assi or assistance. As time progresses, she begins, begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological sock of this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. And by the time mental control is achieved, the mucemite infection has progressed throughout the body's cells, so the body bleh. Neat. I read lots of stuff and learned lots of things. There's more. Okay, let's just read it all. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit strong survival in instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. Researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold, and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. Mwah, so elegant. Uh, for the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's, bo e Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are, widely, uh, are largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to bleh would enhance its effects to extreme potency. Compare, uh, becoming a compound we now call e-neurotoxin, which mm, even in tiny amounts. What's been interesting is to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that the infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as a theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort of might, uh, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up her perceived lack of love in her quarantine upbringing, a parent's love. She sure is. Alrighty then. Cool, save room. A save room that's actually safe. Yay! I feel like we're, we're about to actually meet Evelyn and she is an old, old lady. So I don't think I want to go down there yet. Or maybe there's a big gate to the other way. I don't know. I don't know if I should explore that side or not. But for today, we're going to go ahead and call this done. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play. 
Hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so have passed since the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here day after day. Just the same old C, although there's one thing that's different. The time we have, uh, this time we have some passengers staying with us, but this hardly ever happened. Uh, it's a couple with a little girl, I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine they're traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Love you, Jim. Sorry, I heard something and I... We freaking had to end that letter quick.